What are some options for somebody who wants to roast vegetables? We had an exam room wondering about this. They want to roast vegetables. They want to eat clean. They yeah. don't want to use oil when they're roasting them. I'm a blanch and then roast guy. That way you can still lock in some of that moisture. It's not going to be a completely uh, dry uh, roast. So how would you recommend doing that sans oil so you can really keep that fat ultra low? Okay. So here's what I'd recommend. There's there's this concept known as AGEs. That AGEs are particular types of compounds that are created in food when it is heated. AGE stands for advanced glycation end products. And advanced glycation end products are not your friends. These are the types of compounds that when you consume them and then when they actually get stored in, in tissues can become very problematic over the course of time. They're oxidized or partially oxidized compounds that can cause blood glucose, your, your blood glucose to do very strange things. Okay. So the goal is in whatever, whatever food you're preparing, you want to limit your AGE content or your AGE production. So the two things that stimulate the, pro the production of AGEs are number one, high temperature and number two, low moisture environments. So if you're cooking something at high temperature in low moisture environment, then you can you know, reasonably predict that the AGE content is going to increase significantly. But if you do the exact opposite and say, okay, if I want to limit AGE production, then I'm going to cook with moisture, number one, and I'm going to cook at a lower temperature. So that leads you to understanding that a simple thing that you can do to cook foods um, is on the stovetop, as an example, you can either steam vegetables Okay. Or you can boil vegetables. Again, both of those are moisture rich environments and both of those don't require very high temperatures. Okay. But if you're going to go into the oven and you're going to say, well, I'm not going to use oil because I've been, I've heard that oil is not necessarily good for me. Then how would you do it? Well, what you could do is you could take a baking dish and, um, you could put a thin layer of water at the very bottom of that baking dish. And then you could put your vegetables inside of that so that when the, the, the environment increases in temperature, the, the water at the bottom of that baking dish actually puts moisture up into the environment. So it actually causes a humid environment. And then the entire environment has water content in it. And that enables your, your vegetables to roast in a moisture rich environment. Uh, number two, rather than baking something at 450 degrees, you could bake it at 350 degrees. And as a result of that, you're going to keep the temperature down just a little bit more. So those are two simple techniques that can actually have a profound effect on the production of AGEs that can significantly limit the damage that it causes once it gets inside of you. Yeah. Margie on Facebook has another pro tip. She recommends covering uh, your baking sheet in, uh, in foil or something like that. And that'll also keep that moisture locked in there. She says she never uses oil. And I would imagine that would be especially effective if you put that thin layer of water on the bottom of the pan as well. I think that that would essentially steam it while you're baking at the same time. So that's that's exactly a pretty right. cool thing. Now, um, there's another trick too. Let me, if I don't mind me saying something. Yeah, man, lay it on. Um, you can also use parchment paper. So if you took your vegetables and you put them onto a baking dish, okay? And normally what people do is they'll either put foil on that baking dish or they'll take oil and they'll mix the vegetables in oil and then put them on the baking dish. And when you do it that way, the oil acts as a little bit of a lubricant to protect the vegetable from getting stuck to the actual baking dish. It's helpful. It works. Okay. But if you're not going to use oil, then what I would do is instead of using foil, get rid of that. Instead of using oil, get rid of that. Put parchment paper. Very, very simple thing. You put parchment paper on the bottom of your baking dish. Then you take your vegetables. Maybe you spice them up. Maybe you add some flavorings to them. You put your vegetables onto the parchment paper. You stick them in the oven practically nothing sticks to parchment paper. Okay. So the vegetables get cooked. You don't really necessarily need that much moisture. And when you get them off of the, the baking dish, there's nothing for them to stick to. Yep. I learned about that from a chef in a Whole Foods one time. Like he just took me to school for whatever reason, was doing a cooking demo in the produce section and he had parchment paper and he was just wrapping the vegetables in that and putting those in the oven. And I'll be daggone if they weren't delicious. It was the most <laughs> incredible daggone thing.